Hey YouTube, today I try my hand at an amp review. Hey everybody, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you are a subscriber, welcome back and thank you so much. Um, please do like this video and subscribe. Really trying to grow my channel, increase the amount and quality of my content here. So let's get started. Today I'm doing an amp review, which I've never done before. And I'm reviewing the 5150 Iconic, which is my personal amp. Now the 5150 Iconic grabs me really hard because it walks that line really well between a tube amp and a solid state amp. It has the modern features and the reliability that I enjoy from a solid state amp and the tone and drivability that I love from a tube amp. Now the main modern features that I appreciate about this amp are the built-in XLR output with the cab simulator, the built-in noise gate, the built-in clean boost, and the built-in reverb. Um, also attenuation, I usually use mine at 10 watts. So for this demo, I'm gonna do a produce mix real quick. Um, I'll give you a couple more specs about the amp and then we'll get into some clean and distorted tones. Let's get into it. Alright guys, that was the demo. Um, as you could see in the video, my setup is very simple. Just an SM57 clone, close mic to the amp, and then I have my vocal um, Audix, or not Audix, Audio Technica AT2020 miking the room that's blended in there just a little bit. Some other features of this amp are green and red channel. Um, the green is clean and crunch, and then the red is the lead channel, and it also has a burn function which to my ears kind of tightens it up, um, gives it a little extra sizzle, if you will. It does have the foot switchable channel selection and the foot switchable boost. Um, there's a level knob on the amp and then you can just activate it on your foot switch. The one thing I wish that the foot switch also had was the reverb on and off, but you take what you can get. Like I mentioned, this does have, it's a 40 watt tube amp you can attenuate it down to 10 watts, which is where I play mine the most. Um, 10 watts gives you generally plenty of headroom in the volume. So from here, let's just go into some tones of the amp.
All right, guys, that's just about going to do it on this review. Stick around. Again, subscribe. Next week, I have another Jaguar in the studio with me, and this is a good one. I'll catch you later.